Welcome to NetGearX to under support. In this video we are going to learn about, how to set up, our Netgear WN3500RP Range Extender device. So without wasting any time let's dive into the video. Netgear WN3500RP is one of the best Netgear Range Extenders available in the market. WN3500RP can help you to extend your home network up to 300 meter. This extender support dual band. There are three ways to set up your Netgear Wi-Fi extender setup. Dash. First. Manual method. Second. Using WPS method. Third. Without Ethernet cable, follow these easy to use instructions given below to set up your extender without Ethernet cable. The Wi-Fi range extender is simply a repeater that helps you expand the reach of your wireless network. The first step is to reset your extender settings to the default factory setting. The second step is to connect your extender device using a Wi-Fi connection. Log into the web user interface on MeWiFiX using your device. After the successful opening of the website, you will be prompted to fill in the default username and password for your Netgear device. After that follow the steps of the Netgear setup wizard and also establish a connection with the router. Lastly, it's time to connect all your devices back to the extender still. Unable to complete the Netgear extender setup. Looking for some help? In this video, we are going to set up our extender using the manual method. Through the Netgear website mewifiex.net and also through the WPS method if your device supports the same. Before diving deep inside, hello everyone. If you are facing any issue with your Netgear range extender, do not know what to do, our MeWiFiX experts are always ready to help you out get in touch today. Let's begin with the manual method using MeWiFiX.net using your window device. Here is the step by step guide to set up your Netgear Wi-Fi range extender using the MeWiFiX.net. Step 1, dash turn on your extender by plugging it into the extender, wait till the extender is turned on in the power LED light to stop blinking. Once the device is fully booted up, step 2 is now open your web browser, you can choose any browser you want such as Chrome, Firefox, Optimini, Internet Explorer, and Netgear underscore extension. Step 3 now enter mewifiex.net in your web browser if you are going to set up your range extender using the window device. Step 4 click on the new extender setup, now create a new account in case you do not have an account already. Step 5 now you will be asked to accept the term and conditions, click continue. Step 6 now you will be asked whether you want to configure your Netgear extender as a Wi-Fi extender or as an access point. Step 7 click as a Wi-Fi range extender. Step 8 now choose the network you wish to extend and click on the next button. Step 9 enter the password of your current Wi-Fi and click next. Step 10, dash be patient and wait for few seconds. Congrats, you had successfully set up your Netgear range extender. Troubleshooting tips for my Wi-Fi extension setup. Update your extender firmware. Use a different browser for my Wi-Fi extension login setup. Keep multiple web browser ready. Try resetting your web browser. Try connecting using Ethernet cable. The LED descriptions for Netgear model now are as follows. Router link LED indicates the connection between the extender and the router. Different colors have the following meanings. Solid green indicates the best connection. Solid amber indicates a good connection. Solid red indicates a poor connection. Off indicates no connection. Client link LED. It indicates the connection between the extender and the device like a computer or laptop, smartphone, etc. Different colors have the following descriptions. Solid green indicates the best connection. Solid amber indicates a good connection. Solid red indicates a poor connection. Off indicates no connection. Power LED. Solid amber indicates them the extender is booting. Solid green indicates them the extender is powered on. Off indicates them the extender is powered off. WPS LED. Solid green indicates that Wi-Fi security is enabled. Blinking green indicates that a WPS connection is in progress. Off indicates that Wi-Fi security is disabled. Can I set up Netgear extender using the WPS method? Yes. You can set up your extender using the WPS method. How can I set up my range extender using using my Wi-Fi extension? Net. Just log in and follow all the steps explained in the video. MeWiFiX.net shows error, what to do. 
Try changing your web browser and make sure you are going right. How do I log into my Netgear Extender? It's more simple than you think. Open me with the X and enter your login credentials, and you are done. For a full step-by-step -step guide visit Wi-Fi, extensionsetup.com. Unable to log in into me with the X.net? There are a variety of reasons why you are unable to access me with the X.net then try visiting other extensions such as my Wi-Fi extension local or 9-2-1-6-8-1-2-5-0. If the problem persists try our troubleshooting tips for Netgear Extender. How can I connect my TV with the Netgear Range Extender? Just go to your TV and look for the Wi-Fi setting, make sure you are in range of the Wi-Fi Extender. And connect using the password set. What if I still face the problem? Get in touch with one of our experts at plus one eight 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 two four five four seven nine seven toll number for free consultation.